Yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Here we go again. Um, so yesterday, the New York Times put out an article, Facebook and Instagram, they have decided to ban Minister Farrakhan, Alex Jones, and a few other people that they consider conspiracy theorists that have these so-called dangerous messages. And these are popular people who you don't see on national television. They don't have any real big media platforms. And they, and according to Facebook and Instagram, these people are considered dangerous to the masses. They have a message that they don't want the general public um, knowing about. And if you understand how huge social media is and how many how many people use it, I mean, it's ridiculous. So Facebook and Instagram are basically one entity because Facebook bought Instagram a few years ago. They own it. So it's one thing. This is a billion dollar business. And they are mainstream and they've decided they want they want it to be the way they want it to be. I'm not a believer in censorship. I think it's bullshit. I think it's against the First Amendment, freedom of speech. I'm not Islam or whatever, but I am a black man. And I've always uh, respected Minister Farrakhan, and he'd be kicking a lot of real shit. He tells the truth. He is a danger to white supremacy and to the, the elites. Because anytime someone can wake up black people, especially young black people, and get them on the right track, you know, consciously, that's a threat to everything that they got going on in white supremacy and just in general. And that's what he does. Um, and with, with, I think he's always been out. He's been out for years. But I think in recent memory, uh, I think what happened was when he did the Nipsey Hussle speech, he, sp he spoke at Nipsey Hussle's funeral in Staples Center about a month ago. Well, a little less than a month ago times is flying by and it was a huge funeral staples i mean i'm not even sure how many people were there this funeral was streamed live online it was on bet it was a big deal and i'm not sure if that you know some people might have been introduced to him some younger people may have not heard of him before who knows but his popularity has spiked he's gained some more momentum since that funeral and now there's clips of Farrakhan all over Facebook and Instagram in, we, in recent weeks. And his message is starting to regain momentum again amongst younger black people. And that's something that they don't want. Alex Jones is another one. Oh, I used to watch Alex Jones here on YouTube and a few other people. And Alex Jones had a bad rep for being a conspiracy theorist. Oh, he's full of shit. He's lying. I'm like, yeah, well, if everything was lies, why did they censor him and take him off YouTube? Think about that. I think what got him about it here really was the Bilderberg group when he exposed that group of people that are part of the elites, the, the Rothschilds family, the Rockefellers, all of these wealthy people that get together three, four years, three or four, every three or four years, these people get together and they come up with an agenda for how they're going to keep control of the world. And he exposed that. And that was something the general public did not know about. A lot of people still don't know about it. Shortly after, they found a way to get his message toned down and to get him out of here. It's just certain stuff the elites and the, you know, the higher the powers that be, they just don't want people knowing. They don't want you to be awakened. They want you to be in a coma. They want you to just do what they tell you to do and listen to what they say, what the, their, you know, pr propaganda. You know, the, oh, and now now you got this band with Farrakhan and it's not getting enough publicity to me. I mean, Snoop is one of the only him and Killer Mike are one of the only real celebrities I could think of that have spoken out in his uh, his defense. And Snoop was like, hey, we need to ban this shit. We need to they want to ban him. We got a boycott. And I'm with it. I'm with the boycott for Facebook and Instagram. I don't use Facebook that much. I do use IG a lot. You know, I, my question is, do we have the discipline to do it? Because a lot of us, let's be honest, a lot of us, the first thing we do, we roll over. When we get out of bed, you roll over. Before you even get out of bed, you check your fucking phone. Do you have the discipline to shut it off for a week on the, on the social media tip and say, nah, fuck that, for the bigger, for the bigger cause, you know? 
Because a lot of us use it. I don't know the exact numbers, how many of us are on this shit, but it's a lot of us. It's a real powerful tool. And that's the best way you could ever get somebody back is in their pocket. You hit them economically. That's a real boycott. And it's not no, oh, we're going to do this just for one week or you don't know. You got to do it until your demands are met. Because censorship is bullshit. Everybody should have the right to say whatever the fuck they want to say. You know, rather you got an influential, you know, presence about you or not. You know, because this guy is telling the truth about white supremacy, the system, how they hold black people down, the issues that go around. They don't want to have that message being pushed out there. And this is why I haven't remember the last time that that might have been the first time I seen Minister Farrakhan on television in a, probably over 10 years. You know, what I mean, like they don't put him on. They've been waiting for him to die for the longest. They hate him. They hate an unapologetic black man who tells it like it is. And it's just sickening that they that a platform. And this was really why I've been saying we need our own media. We need black media. We need a, we don't have any channel we could turn to like a CNN that we could just say, OK, what's going on in black news and just click it. And why we don't have any platforms. We don't own any social media networks. So they have the they can just click us off at any moment and say no more. And that's when you start realizing, damn, we really have no black media. Yeah, you got a couple gossip blogs, but that ain't that's that's silly shit. We don't have black media. When Dr. Lamont um, Hill got fired from CNN for saying what he said about those Jewish people. Well, guess what? Who you think runs CNN? Jewish people. He was fired and there was really no alternative job opportunity for him. What other network was he going to go to? Yeah, you got a couple, but there's no black alternative network that he could just turn to. So people who are in that business, they really have to walk on pins and needles because there's no there's no place for them to go, really. So we need our own platforms. We need our own social media networks, television networks, because censorship is nonsense and we should not be told what we can and what we cannot say. Don't water down people's message. Don't screw over the First Amendment, freedom of speech. I thought this was America. I don't know what the fuck it is. Apparently, they're trying to make it great again. I'm like, whatever. But, um, yeah, this is this is ridiculous here. Censorship at its finest. Facebook and Instagram have banned Minister Farrakhan on their platforms. Like, share, and subscribe.